Sorry, Snoopy. You can't go with us. Dogs aren't allowed on the school bus. Woof. Hi guys, it's me Anthony. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, as you can see from the title, is my bullet journal essentials. So we're basically going to be telling you what I basically have to use when I'm setting up a bullet journal. Like, I have to have these things, and in my bullet journal case, these are always in there. So we're going to start with the first three, which is a pencil eraser and a bullet journal spread, which is actually my grid spacing cheat sheet. It saves me so much time and energy to do it, and if you guys want a video on how to use it, I'll make one I guess so the other thing I use is a ruler the pencil that the pencil I actually use to sketch out is the Pinto sharp in 07 in the metallic version and then the eraser I use is a pencil high polymer eraser the Midori ruler is my favorite ruler because it folds into 15 centimeters and when you fold it out it's 30 centimeters and then the grid spacing cheat sheet is in my bullet journal so sketching for me is not an easy process. It took me 30 minutes to sketch this one weekly spread out. So it all depends on what I have for the week or also what I have in mind. For this spread, I was very indecisive. So I was going to do a vertical weekly log. And then I decided to reference this old spread right here from February, I believe. Yeah, from February. And I'm redoing this kind of spread. I like these kind of freeform but structure kind of spreads so it has a day for e a spot for each day of the week and a weekly event section and a month a week a weekly header and a quote at the bottom so sketching is very simple but it's an essential part for me because it saves me time making decisions so now some other essentials are my brush pen my tombow for no suke Crayola super tips and any kind of brush marker, preferably the Zebra Mod Liner so the Tombow do a brush pen. These are hands down my favorite coloring items. And then for any basic line art, I use a fine liner. So I'm going in with my eraser and erasing out those fine sketch marks. I try to sketch lightly so it doesn't get into the ink of the pen or it doesn't really take a lot to erase. Sorry Snoopy, you can't go with us. Dogs aren't allowed on the school bus. Something that I use majority of the time to get a variation, which I think is very great when you're doing blue journaling, is a thick pen. I tend to use fine liners. I use a gel pen because I couldn't find my fine liner, but I'm using that as a way to block off each day of the week. And I think having different line sizes adds a nice variation to your spread. Now at the bottom I'm writing a quote that says shine bright using those Crayola super tips and the Tama Finosuke and the Sakura Pick and Micron which is the fine liner I used in 03. But another great recommendation is the Tombow Mono drawing pen in 03. 03 and 05 are the sizes I tend to go for my fine liner pens except for those thick fine thick lines that I use for the days of the week. And that was a gel pen a uh, pilot g2 gel pen in one millimeter and at the bottom i'm using washi tape washi tape is something that can add decoration to a spread simple decoration and washi tape can really determine if a spread is good or not if that makes sense and i'm going to take my Crayola super tip and use that to draw out a bar for the days of the week and then i'm going to use my fine liner to draw a line to divide the days of the week and the pilot g2 to write in monday through sunday and that is it for this spread like i said my essentials can make a setting up a spread really easy and then one more thing i have to do is i accidentally smudged the gel pen that's why i don't like using gel pens for line art because it still smudges and it doesn't take it takes a lot of time to dry so i use my uni posca which is a nice thing, white gel pen. And the two things I forgot to mention were the Vicky Notes I use and the Univol Signo DX in .38. I use the Univol Signo to write all, all my tasks and fill in my bullet journal. As you can see, I use a sticky note to write in projects so I can just move them around throughout the bullet journal as I complete the task. And I'm just gonna show you like certain spreads like I use for my Univol Signo DX. 
and that's this pen I essentially use to fill in my weekly spreads, daily logs, monthly spreads, collections, just about anything. And so with that, I am done with setting up my bullet journals. I'm done sharing my bullet journal. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.